Hey guys, it's Zoe. So today I have two unboxings for you. The first one is an owl crate unboxing and the second is the fairy loot unboxing. But before I get into that, the language from the last video was Spanish. Once again, I think all of you got that right and the few who gave me some feedback said that I pronounced it quite well, which I am super happy about because it's been so long since I've had the opportunity to speak the little Spanish that I know and it's been a very long time since I've taken any lessons. I really want to get back into it and and I think this summer I'm going to spend the entire time brushing up on the languages that I already know and hopefully learning some new ones. So I'm really excited for it to be summer and winter can just go away now. I'll probably start in the spring because I have no self-control and I have no patience. The language for today is ciao, oggi e giovedì. Oggi e giovedì. Yeah, I think I said that one correctly. I did check some textbooks that I do have and a lot of YouTube pronunciations. So thank you to everybody who puts that on YouTube to help people like me. All right, let's just get into the unboxings. <laughs> Lovely little owl crate box. It's a little bit crushed on top. It makes me very, very sad. This would have been a lot easier if I just got a knife or something, but why make things easier for myself? Thank God for gel nails. That didn't crack at all. Beautiful. All right, so the first thing when I finally get this box open is the spoiler card. We're gonna try and not have that be super glary. The theme for February is Hidden Worlds, and I'm not going to look at this. I will probably reference it when things pop up that I don't know what the hell they are, but for now, we're gonna put this off to the side. Ooh, so the first thing here, I can smell it already, is a candle from... There we go. A candle from Books on Candle. This is called Through the Wardrobe, so obviously a Narnia reference. This is an Owl Crate exclusive, and I don't know what the scent is. It smells very fresh, kind of like winter in a weird way. I don't know, it smells kind of like boy as well. Let's check this card. Ooh. I don't know what that was, something fell. Um, books on Candle by Viblio. Viblio? Actually, that sounds like the Greek word for book. It sounds like Viblio. Interesting. It is Narnia, soy candle, pine, mint, and vanilla, and smells like a forest in winter. So I was not wrong. I like it. There are a lot of little things in here. Ooh. Next is the pin that comes with all Owl Crate boxes that matches the spoiler card. Can you see that? I hope so. Got a little angry owl on it. Then there is this lovely little package that's it says Owl Crate on it, and it's purple, so I like it already, because this girl really likes purple. Good lord. Sweet Jesus, this is difficult. We're got it. We're good. We're good. Ooh, it's a key on a necklace. There we go. That would actually make a very nice statement piece. What is this from? Who is this from? And what does it represent? Oh, itchy face. A key to a hidden world, obviously. We're not thinking over here today. Um, use your exclusive skeleton key pendant necklace to unlock doorways to other worlds. Inspired by the key used in the story Coraline and created by Team Owl Crate just for you. Oh, so it's an Owl Crate thing. And Coraline freaked me right the... Mm. Bad word out. <laughs> oh, I see with the button now. Yep, you see the button? There we go. Coraline freaked me out. I'm not gonna lie. I am absolutely terrified of that movie. Yes, I'm an adult now and I'm scared of a children's movie. It happens. Next is a zipper pouch that says, we dream together of the world remade. I don't know why, but that's reminding me of Daughter of Smoke and Bone or something. Something like that. Let's check the card. <laughs> Store your souvenirs from many different journeys in your awesome zipper pouch, inspired by Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Love this series. Wonderful. And illustrated exclusively by artist Risa Rodel? Rodel. Whatever it is, it looks nice. I like it. I don't know what this is, but this looks like a blanket. I gotta see. Oh! What in the name of sweet Jesus is going on here? That is like a blanket thing? What? Ooh! It's a wall tapestry by Evie Bookish. I love Evie Bookish stuff. Oh, there's something in my eye now. Great. I need to open this thing all the way up and see what it looks like. I have no idea. This thing is huge. We're gonna stand up here. So I don't know how well you can see this, but it says books fall open, you fall in. With an Alice type shadow person thing at the bottom falling down. Well, I have absolutely no idea where I would put that now, but I like it. When I have space, I'm gonna put that up somewhere. I might just use it as a blanket or something for now because I don't have any walls to put it on. Next, there is this little Alice sticker. This is by Naomi Lord. Naomi Lord? I never know. Everybody pronounces that differently. Yeah, that's all it says. Next is what we've all been waiting for here. The book, The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. I read an arc of this and I absolutely loved it. It was right around Halloween and it terrified me. I slept with the light on that whole night. I'm not ashamed to admit that I was terrified by this, but it was really, really good, even though it was terrifying. Let's see what's in this. 
package with the book. So there are a bunch of stickers that come with it that are all Hazelwood themed. And there's the letter from the author that comes with every book and the book itself. I don't know if you've seen the original version of this, but the original has a black background on the cover and this one is quite green. With the silver too, it's very Slytherin with a touch of Gryffindor gold in there. And this one is, where did it go? Where did it go? Signed by the author. They did that with the Cruel Prince as well. Instead of a signed book plate, it was signed right in the book. Wasn't a big fan of the last cover change with Owl Crate, but I really enjoy this one. And the end papers are just gorgeous. I love them. The Hazelwood is about a girl named Alice who has always been haunted by sheer bad luck, it seems. Her and her mom have always been on the run, avoiding this bad luck. They've never stayed in one place for long. And things go from bad to worse when Alice is grandmother dies. She was the author of this collection of fairy tales, kind of like a cult classic. Not really many people knew about them. You can't really find a copy anywhere. She dies and then her mother is kidnapped by one of the characters from the fairy tales. Alice is joined by a guy named Ellery Finch, who is a huge fan of her grandmother's stories. He may or may not have ulterior motives to helping her. He could be a good guy and just want to help. He could be a bad person and want to use her for access to her grandmother's house house. You don't really know. They go into the Hazelwood, the house that Alice's grandmother has always lived in, the house that her mother has said, don't ever go there because bad things are going to happen. So naturally she goes there because why do you ever do what your mother says as a teenager? And when do you ever not regret not listening to your mother as a teenager? Looking at you, Alice. She goes to the Hazelwood. A lot of weird stuff starts happening and a lot of terrifying stuff starts happening. Like I said, I really enjoyed this one despite the fact that it was absolutely terrifying. If you know me, you know I hate anything scary, but somehow I enjoyed this. The writing was really well done and the fairy tales were so unique. They're nothing like what we know. They're completely new stories and I really liked the way they were done as well. I think I gave this one like a 4.5. I don't remember. The last thing in the box is the theme card for next month. This is very bright and the theme is Across the Galaxy. In the March box there will be an exclusive candle from Wick and Fable. I'm super excited for an exclusive... <laughs> <laughs> I'm super excited for an exclusive candle and I'm super excited for the next box as well. I really enjoyed this box and I loved all the purple that was in this box and I'm not mad about that. Next up I have the fairy loot box. This one is also a little bit crushed as well. I'm sensing a theme here. People don't like delivering things to my house. I might need a knife for this one. Oh boy. You need adult supervision sometimes. Being an adult is overrated. So the first thing in the box is the spoiler card and the theme for February was Twisted Tales. It's a very very little red riding hood type picture. Whoa, my God, where'd that go? I enjoy that a lot. I'm gonna put that off to the side and reference it every five seconds. The first thing I see is this box. What a wonderful surprise. I love boxes. Inside this box is a mug. Stay calm. This seems like there are multiple fairy tales on it. And it looks like Rapunzel and then Snow White. Yeah, and then Little Red Riding Hood. I see a little spindle there, so that looks like Sleeping Beauty. And then we've got Hansel and Gretel. This is by Anjali? Anjali? Anjali Art. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it is a Grimm's Tales mug. There's the train again. Shakes the house a little bit when it goes by. Whoops. The sun got really bright and it's coming in through the door and it's just lighting me up. We're gonna ignore that. They will be revealing the all of the different fairy tales that are featured on this mug on social media in the coming days. I don't know when, but it will happen soon. Next are a pair of socks. These are the Witch and the Gingerbread House exclusive socks by Fairy Loop. These have little gingerbread houses and witch hats. These are super cute and that light is really bright now. Mother of God, must we with the sun? You can go away for a little bit and enjoy that. Anyways, I see a Sock Sunday post coming very, very soon, possibly on Sunday. Next in this lovely little box of goodness is what in the sweet Jesus? Poisonous bath salts. Juicy apple scented bath salts. I haven't taken a bath in years. This might be enough to convince me to take a bath. And these are cruelty free and vegan friendly. These are by Little Heart and the artwork on the front there 
is by Till and Dill. Next is a candle by Wick and Fable. This one smells like oak moss and tea leaves. Hmm, smells like woods. And it's the hinterland. This is from the book of the month, which I will reveal later. Next is a bookmark by Ink and Wonder. It's Little Red Riding Hood themed, and it says wolves may lurk in every guise. It's printed on sustainably sourced wood, so it's not like a regular bookmark with it's just little paper. It's actual wood. It doesn't really bend. It's interesting. I like that. So after that little fiasco, the only way to counteract this ridiculous sunlight is to tape stuff over the window because, of course, it's the one window that doesn't have curtains on it. Why would it be anywhere that I could just pull a curtain over? And this is what I get for filming with a west-facing window when the sun is setting. This is an exercise in learning how to use my brain on a daily basis. Because some days it just doesn't happen. Anyways, the next thing in the box is the book that comes in its own little package. The first thing in this pouch is the letter from the author, and then there is the bookmark that is the same as the spoiler card. Ooh, I might like this cover better. I don't know. The book for this month is the same as the Owl Crate one for this month, and that is The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. I think I like this cover better. And the end papers are also awesome in this one. This one is signed in the book as well, so it looks like I'm going to be keeping both of these because I can't just swap out the covers. Also, they're drastically different sizes. This one's a lot bigger. It's kind of a good thing that I really like this book because I really like this cover and I like the original cover too and the Owl Crate exclusive green cover. So with my book collecting obsession, I'm gonna be keeping both. The last thing in the pouch was the newsletter that has the interview with the author. On the back, it shows the theme for the next month, which is memorable, <laughs> memorable moments. This one is celebrating the two year anniversary of Fairy Loop and it's celebrating memorable moments from their favorite books. So basically, I'm all over this one. It has items that are perfect for fans of Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, and Shadowhunters. Three out of the four are my favorite series of all time, and I like the fourth one, but I haven't finished, so it's not really that high up on the list, but I really enjoyed it. As well, there's going to be something, where did it go? They have never included before in the box. On top of that, it's going to be an exclusive hardcover edition that you can't get anywhere else, and the box will be purple instead of black. What what else can they do to make me want it even more? Not much. Oh, sweet Jesus. They did something to make me want it even more. It's gonna include a scarf. I love scarves. I even have a special hanger for scarves. This son needs to figure out what the hell it wants. You gonna stay? You gonna go? I can't deal with this willy-nilly, wishy-washy son business today. You're really killing my vibes then. I don't care if it was you or a cloud. It sucks. Stop it. And the book is going to be about princesses. I need it now, right now. I want it now. It's almost March. I'm waiting. I'm waiting very, 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 quite extremely impatiently. I'm like one of those little kids on a road trip where it's every five seconds, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Is it time yet? Can I get it? And then another part of me is like the seagulls from Finding Nemo where I'm just like, mine, 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 So those were the two unboxings for the day. I have half a mind to refilm the entire portion where the sun was directly on my face and everything else was dark because it was so bright. But that takes a lot of work. So I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna do that. That and I don't really have time for that. I gotta go to my grandparents house because my mother is bringing over a special someone for her parents to meet. I've met him already. He's a very nice man. I need to be there for moral support and food. There's gonna be a lot of food so can't really say no to that. I think that's all I really had to say for today. To stay updated with my current reads and how I'm feeling about them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads all at your book nerd Zoe but I will leave all of those linked down below for you. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day and get at least a little bit of uninterrupted reading time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!